In this video, I'm gonna share with you how I lost an entire pant size, also one of my favorite go-to snacks, and lastly, what did I eat on Sunday? Stay tuned. And welcome to The Big Green Chair. My name is Ashley, fellow food lover and indulgent expert. My channel, The Big Green Chair, helps viewers like you learn how to lose weight, enjoy food, and find a happy and balanced existence. If these topics resonate with you, make sure to hit that subscribe now button so you don't miss any content coming up. And anything I talk about in today's episode will be in the description box below with any links that you might need. All right, let's get started. So how did I drop a full pant size? So for a long time, I was stuck in a particular size and no matter what I did, I just could not get any smaller. I was changing the way that I was eating. I was changing the way that I was working out. But you know me, I love to indulge, so I always have to make room for food because, well, I love food and I love to eat food. So I was trying to find that balance, but I just couldn't drop those last few pounds that made that next one just zip up a little nicer. So what I started doing was actually intermittent fasting. So you might have heard about intermittent fasting. It's been kind of popular in the past couple of years, but it's really a tool that can be used to help your body which is a machine, become really efficient and also be at its best. So I wanted to just give you kind of the intro 101 basics of intermittent fasting and you can see if it works for you. It definitely worked for me and I just love it. So after you eat, your blood sugar levels rise as digestion begins and with that comes insulin production. After about three hours, your body, as it's completing that digestion period, is starting to transform that food into energy to be used. Nine hours after your last meal, your body is now looking for energy from other sources. So digestion is complete, and the body has used all the energy from your last meal, and no longer is insulin being produced. So at this time, your body's saying, all right, well, I need some energy, so where am I gonna go to find it? And well, there's the best part, which is it's looking to what's already in your body to use as energy. That brings us to hour 11. So nine, we digested, no more insulin. We looked for stored energy in the body. Now hour 11, your body has to find energy from somewhere, and where does it go? your fat cells. So this is how I learned how to drop a whole dress size just by intermittent fasting. So that hour between 11 and 12 hours since my last meal really made a difference for me. It gave me a full hour of fat burning and I didn't even have to earn it really. I didn't have to work out, lift weights, change what I eat. You know, I love to eat, so I didn't have to cut any donuts or pizza out of my diet. I literally just fasted for one more hour and that gave me a full hour of fat burning and allowed me to reach my goal and to drop that extra size that I had been holding on to for quite some time. So it's really a magic number. So at night, let's say your last meal is at 8 p.m. You take your last bite at 8 p.m. For me, it might be I don't know, a scoop of Ben and Jerry's, the Tonight Dough ice cream. <laughs> and I absolutely stop eating, 8 p.m., last bite is done. The next time I would eat would be 12 hours later, which would be 8 a.m. So at 8 a.m., I could start consuming calories again. Before that, water, tea, coffee, no calories, um, but you can obviously drink to help yourself, but really, you're gonna probably be sleeping most of that time. So it's not really that big of a window to make the effort, but the action of doing that allows your body to burn fat and get you to a place that maybe you want to be. So I will go more into intermittent fasting in a upcoming episode, so make sure to hit that subscribe now button so you can be notified when that new video comes out. I'd love to hear if you guys have any questions or if you intermittent fast and have had success with it, so make sure to add some comments in the uh, box below. I can't wait to hear from you guys. Make sure to stick around to the end to hear what I ate on Sunday. You definitely don't wanna miss it. Okay, now for one of my ultimate favorite go-to snacks. And this one is good for home and for travel. I have done both, 
but it is Air Pop popcorn. I know it sounds kind of silly and simple, but let me tell you, I again love volume and with Air Pop popcorn, you can eat a lot of volume. So I get just the kernels from the store and I have a Air Popper that I've actually traveled with before until I found a better travel one. Anyways, so I stick my kernels in there and I do the air popper. It makes beautiful, fresh popcorn. And then typically I'll spray a little olive oil on it and I have this seasoning that I like that actually you can only find up north. So one of my friends still sends me bottles of it. <laughs> and it's a grinder that has chili peppers, garlic, salt and pepper in it. So I do that on top. And let me tell you, it's delicious. You might be saying, well, why don't I just buy microwave popcorn at the store? But microwave popcorn and the air popper are not the same. The calories are definitely not the same. I don't really know what they put inside those bags, which makes me a little weary. Um, but it actually, funny enough, is quicker to do the air popper than it is to do your microwave popcorn, and it never burns. And I know we all have burnt bags of popcorn before. Um, I have a really great travel one that I use. So when I'm on the road, or when I used to be on the road, uh, I would take this silicone um, air popper, basically. I'll put the link in the description box below. I've actually gifted it to friends as well, and I would just bring kernels with me, and when I would stay at a hotel, I would ask for a microwave in my room because I love to snack. And so I would put my kernels in there, put the lid on top, throw it in the microwave, and sure enough, it was fresh air pop popcorn. So no oil, I could control what goes on it. Plus, even when I'm not hungry, sometimes I sit in front of the TV and just kind of want to like mindlessly eat. And this air pop popcorn is perfect for that. So whether you actually want to snack and crunch or you're just like watching a really great movie and you feel like you need popcorn, there's nothing wrong with that. It's all about balance, right? And the best part is that four cups is about 125 calories and on Weight Watchers Blue, three points. So go ahead and get nuts with some Air Pop popcorn. I would love to hear what you guys are putting on top of your popcorn. So let me know in the comment sections below. If you liked today's video, make sure to hit that like button. And also, if you love the topics and what I'm talking about here on the Big Game Chair, make sure to hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss any of my upcoming episodes. Welcome to the end and my favorite part of my episodes, which is what did I eat on Sunday? You guys all know I love to cheat. I think it's a really important part of my week for lots of reasons, but I think it's a wonderful thing to celebrate with friends, also to celebrate yourself, and also to kind of keep you on track for the rest of the week. So this Sunday, I was pleasantly surprised by a purchase that I made actually on Saturday. So I heard about this fat belly pretzel who is doing an amazing muffalata and I was thinking, okay, well it's Nashville and the only good muffaladas I've really had were in New Orleans at uh, Central Grocery and Cochon Butcher. So I was thinking, hmm, how good could this really be? I've tried other muffaladas in Nashville as well and I just was like, eh, they were good, but I wanted like that, oh my gosh, it's so delicious, it's gonna blow your mind kind of muffalata. I love a muffalata. When I was in college, I worked for Hugh Atchison and he made this beautiful muffalata on this really like nice crusty roll and I just remember it being so delicious and that kind of started my love affair with muffaladas. And so when I heard that Lavon at Fat Belly Pretzel was making muffaladas on pretzel rolls, I was like, I have to have one of these. So I went to Richland Farmer's Market, which is the farmer's market on Saturdays here in Nashville. And I went up there and I pre-ordered a muffalata as well as a chocolate babka. I'll tell you about that one in a second. And I asked Lavon and his wife, Kim, would it be okay for me to eat this tomorrow? Cause tomorrow's my cheat day. And he was like, oh, next day's even better. You know, he's like, I've had them a couple days later. They're great. It'll all soak in the flavors, blah, blah. Boy, was he right. So on Sunday, I could not wait to open this up. Let me tell you, the olive salad just got nice and marinated in just a portion of the bread. So it was like nice and 
um, flavorful and it really like hugged the meat. So I actually stuck mine in the toaster oven. So it's a beautiful muffalata. It was cut into four pieces. So I took a quarter of it and I put it in just for like a first little snack to see if this is the way I wanted to eat it. And let me tell you, the outside of that pretzel got nice and crispy. The bread like portion of the pretzel stayed nice and soft, especially because that nice olive salad like was kind of marinating the bread. And then he's using amazing local uh, meats in there and they are delicious. So I was pleasantly surprised and now I feel like I need to eat one like every week. <laughs> But it is just an incredibly well done sandwich. It will definitely make your taste buds dance and I recommend it. It is worth the calories. It is just scrumptious. <laughs> the other thing that he's doing that's blowing my mind is chocolate pretzel babka. So I've made chocolate babka before. I love to bake and when I heard that he was doing chocolate pretzel babka, I thought, well, gosh, this sounds like everything that I love because I love pretzels, I love chocolate, I love babka, how could you not love this? This beautiful piece of pastry is worth every single bite and every single calorie. It is just ribbons of chocolate in this nice, moist, dough that's soft and delicious and buttery and, I mean, you guys have to go out and grab one of these. You also can pre-order it. I'll make sure to put the link in the description box below to Fat Belly Pretzels. You will definitely not go wrong ordering from there the chocolate pretzel babka. I ate the whole thing in two days and I went back to get another one and they were like, sorry, we don't have any, we're all sold out. It was so sad because I was just craving this chocolate babka. It was probably good that that didn't happen. But anyways, the pastry, the pretzels, the muffalata, the things that they're doing at Fat Belly Pretzel is totally worth it. So if you have a chance to choose your cheat day, go over to Fat Belly Pretzel. I'll link their Instagram in the description box below. You can check out where they're gonna be and make sure you get the muffalata amazing and the chocolate pretzel babka. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And remember, every Wednesday I'll post a new video. So make sure you hit that subscribe now button and the little bell to get your weekly notifications. If you like this video and you know someone that might like it as well, make sure to share it and share the love. If you enjoyed today's topics, you'll probably love my other episodes on similar topics, including fitness hacks, weight loss tips, recipes, must-have pantry items, and of course, the burning question of the week, what did I eat on Sunday? I would love to see you guys stick around. Let me know in the comments section below if you enjoyed today's video or any new topics that you would like for me to cover in upcoming episodes. If you want to check out my weekly indulgences and keep up with what I'm eating, check me out on Instagram at Pochica and you can get the daily updates on what I'm eating. Most importantly, thank you for joining me on this journey we call life. It's all about balance and I'm here to help you find it. So, from the big green chair, this is Ashley. Bye for now.